Hello and welcome back to another video my fellow members of section 9. So, today we're going to go ahead and talk about the patch that came out on Wednesday. And we're going to go actually through and uh, announce everything that came out rather than just what they told us on the stream for the upcoming content. And talk a little bit about our... just talk about the patch stuff. So that this is just purely about patch. This is everything that came out in it my thoughts on everything that's coming out and my hopes for what is to come about it so let's go ahead and start off the first thing that we got on the patch is uh, a map the map we got was urban city and it's a tdm map it's very small very compact the pictures of it look very very good and it looks amazing the next thing we got was uh the weapon that we they were teasing for us they uh, did tease that we were getting a new sniper rifle and the, the weapon that we got is the SR M90, M990 or M99D, which if you don't know the equivalent to that, the M98B in Battlefield 4. Basically, it's the same exact gun, just a different name. It looks really good, and if it's anything like it is in, Call in uh, not Call of Duty, Battlefield 4, it's going to be a great gun for snipers. And then, of course, we did uh, get the KH-417 with the Red Skull. All you had to do was play one game of Dive, and you got that. And uh, then you had to redeem the weapon before you could redeem the skin, but you bought them both in the same go, and uh, that worked out pretty well. The next thing we got was we did get Paz's signature skin for Made Man, and we got uh, Borma's Working Man outfit. Uh, we they also added a mute button to the dive match video and the ghost assault mode now rewards XP and GP so if you really are into that hide-and-seek type of gameplay you guys can totally go and play you know ghost mode now and actually make money and experience from that gameplay which is pretty good uh, they've fixed various multi-language strings and UI fixes for the people who are changing between languages because they don't speak English or they speak Japanese or they speak Chinese, you know, all those languages. Um, they did the giveaway, which I mentioned for the KH-417 and the Red Skull skin. Uh, they also announced their uh, the event, which is the Elite Operative Training, basically. You do all these events and you get a skin for the M4A1 called the Neo Flux, which it looks amazing. Not that I would use the M4 that much, but it definitely is a skin that uh, looks pretty damn good. Uh, all you really had to do though is uh, do a certain amount of things, and then uh, I think there's five things that you had to do. And that ends on September 4th at 10 a.m. PDT, or 1 p.m. EDT, or 7 p.m. CEST. The max reward can only be given for the event is 50,000 GP and an M4A1 Neoflux skin. So if you want to get 50,000 GP and an M4A1 Neoflux skin, definitely do the whole ordeal. And it's going to make it so much easier for you. And it's going to give you a cool skin on top of it. And uh, I think the last thing they announced was the Super Cybernetic Starter Pack. Uh, you can purchase the Super Cybernetic Starter Pack at a discounted price of $19.99. This limited time DLC will only be available until August 31st, only on Steam. Um, from the looks of this, we get, uh, I want to say, two character two bonus character unlock coupons so we get the chance to unlock two more operatives uh 500,000 gp 10 times 100 uh, percent gp boosters 10 times 100 percent xp boosters uh 200 minute chipset pack of rapid reload rapid swap rapid aim agile reload agile strafe and agile step the dlc ends august 31st at 10 a.m pdt 1 p.m edt and 7 p.m cest it is limited one super cybernetic starter pack per account and the packs are not transferable and that is everything that we got in this month's patch or this week's patch i don't know when they do patches uh they did tell us a little bit about it and stuff like that definitely worth checking out it was really fun to play on the new map, and there's a whole lot of stuff going on, and I just can't wait to go and play it myself. So, uh, remember, also, you got your daily rewards. If you keep checking in, once you get into the yellows and the reds, you start getting a higher chance for your uh, 
like 1 million uh, GP boost so log in every day even if you aren't gonna play just log in get your reward log off and you get a chance to get your whole thing going for me uh, for my event I have to just finish doing what I got to do and I'm working on it I already got one of my 10,000 GP vouchers and I haven't used it yet but I'm trying to get the skin before it ends and according to this we have 18 days 19 hours and 37 minutes as of the time I'm making this video so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode of the patch peace out